becomes a perverted at the end because it's got a really funny ending. Do you know the ending? Stick around and you will. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. <laughs> oh, he wanted a natural shot. I'm sorry. I'll just keep talking, shall I? Just that natural. Anyway, back to the story. So, this is my storytelling basket because there's lots of things in here. So we know there's a dragon, right? Do you want to see my dragon, boys and girls? Yes. This is my dragon. I'm not going to call him George because that'll get very confusing because the guy you fight seems called George. So this this is the dragon, and this is a bad dragon. A ba oh, it is Theo. It's a bad dragon. You know? Do you know what? Why it's a bad dragon? Do you know why it's a bad dragon? Next time I ask a child a question, I'm going to put the microphone in front of him. But what he said was, some dragons are good and some dragons are not good. So there you have it. Out of the babes, babes and children, some dragons are not good. Right. Theo, do you think you could hold the dragon for me? Could you stand up? Yeah, stand up. Are you going to be all right being a baddie? Theo, are you going to be all right being a baddie? Yeah, he looks excited, doesn't he? That's quite sweet, that is. All right, then. So, what we have is we have a dragon who's actually not very nice. Who blows a lot of fire. Let me just see if I brought me fire with me. <laughs> this is going to be me fire, all right? Roar! Raw. So if you could just make the dragon spit that out of its mouth at regular intervals when I say fire, all right? Fire. Oh, <laughs> oh round of applause for Theo. I think I do quite well though, Theo. Very good, very good. All right. And when and when the dragon's not acting, Theo, you just take one step back and be very still. Hold on to them. Just take one step back. He's technically off stage now. Now, the other thing in this story is a princess. And I have a princess here in my basket. It's Cinderella, it is Cinderella, a la made by Disney. You've got one too, haven't you? Now, I saw a little girl over there shot her hand up so quickly because she said I knew I was going to ask somebody to hold the doll, didn't you? Yeah. What's your name then? Kaya. Come up here, Kaya. Okay, so this is the princess that's in the story, all right. Okay, so we've got this one. And then, and then what we've also got is we've got, yeah, lots of other village people. Now, I don't mean like YMCA. Yeah, but you'll do, sir, you'll do, sir. You were a bit quick off the mark there, weren't you, with your old chaps and yeah, yeah, yeah. People's histories, you never can tell, can you? Books and covers, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Never can tell. Anyway, so I do need some other characters in the village. So you've just got your hand up just in case, have you? Is it just in case? Well, you better come and be um, the villager that is a teddy bear then. You come and hold the teddy bear. That's right, that's right. And, um, oh yeah, there's another, there's another, I'm gonna have this little one in the middle there. You come up and be, you can be the pink camel that also lives in the village. And um, uh, there's somebody, you're looking, at, you're doing all your best. I go to school and I put my hand up. You've got a lovely face paint. I think we're gonna have you. You could be a duck villager. And we might swap over village people. You're the dragon keeper at the moment, love. You might be Spider-Man in your spare time, but right now, you are the dragon with the fire. Um, right, I've only got one villager left. And he's a, he's a, he's, he's, he's the policeman. I think I'm gonna have the little lad at the back there with the, yeah, you, what's your name? Ben, come on up here. Right, this is gonna be a spectacular event. So, right, you've got Ben. Right, okay. As much as I'm gonna regret this, oh, oh blimey, as much as I'm gonna regret this, I'm gonna throw out some musical instruments to you. And to you, you, you at the back there, yeah, you have that one. Hey. 
You've only got one hand. No, darling, you've got two hands, but one of them has henna on. That's the difference. Okay, so we can have the next track of music now. Um, Kit, we can have the next track of music. So, I hope you've all been paying attention. So what happened was, George doesn't exist yet. It's only the dragon. And all the villagers that lived in the village, see how serious, can you look like peasants, please? <laughs> walk around in a circle, just here, all of you. You're in the village, walk around in a circle. That's it, looking looking a bit glum, because, you know, yeah, yeah. You walk around, princess as well. Oh, yes. Oh, the times is hard in the village. There's not a lot of food to go round. Oh, look sad, look sad. Oh, the children in the village are very sad. They've got nothing to do, nowhere to go. Keep walking around, keep walking around, looking sad. Yeah, but put your hand up the policeman go on why i'm sick no not that one okay keep going so here they all are and the dragon the princess has to look happy because she's got pink lips and i know we go back so she no, it's coming back again hang on so the dragon comes and terrorizes the people terrorize them with the fire terrorize raw let's hear let's hear, let's hear a bit more raw <laughs> And the, oh, the village people, you're all really scared. Can you all make scared noises? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> all right then, so what was really scary was the dragon was scaring all of them. And the dragon said, I need food. I need food. So the very clever village people said, we'll give him our sheep. So they went once a week and they gave the dragon the sheep. Give him a pretend sheep, all of you. Feed the dragon. Feed the dragon, that's it. Feed the dragon, children. Keep milling around. Feed the dragon, that's lovely. And the next one, move along. We don't want too long. Make a bit of noise with it because it's like a celebration feeding the dragons. All right, all right. That's very good. That's very good. And after they'd been fed, they was happy for just a little bit. Happy music. Q, 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 Parley McGrew, Cuthbert Dibble, Grub. <laughs> we'll keep doing this until it works. <laughs> Can you, happy <laughs> so the people were very happy because the dragon was pacified and they all did a little dance. Shake your things, make the music. Dance, shake the things, make the music. Shake, 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 shake your things. Shake, 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 shake. Happy, 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 happy music. Happy, 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 happy music. Happy, happy, happy. You can dance too. Happy, 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 happy music. And that went on for a little bit and then it changed. And there was a dark Viking noise. It's labelled under medieval music. It says dark Viking. Because the dragon got really angry again because he was super ha hungry. Can we do angry dragon again, please? Can you terrorise the village people? Rawr! I'll do the roaring noise because I think I'm a little bit better at it. Rawr! 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 So all the children were really terrorised. And what the dragon said now is, I need your money. I need your money, is what he said. So suddenly, all the children found some money, just pretend from your pockets, and they gave it to the dragon. Come on, take it in turns, children. Oh, here's some money for the dragon, thank you. Oh, here's some more money for the dragon. Oh, here's some more money for the dragon. That's it, that's it, children. That's it, dragon, look happy. Dragon, look happy. Theo, look happy. <laughs> thank you Theo, thank you so that was alright and they played the happy music again and they all had another little dance bit of repetition in this one but it's a very short story you'll get on with it happy dancing happy children you can be happy too yeah, happy 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 yeah dragon pacified for now oh yeah that's fine oh pick it up oh his head fell off oh just shake it a little bit love it'll be alright you're shaking the dragon he's going to get a headache and then he'll get angry again what? He's dancing. Okay, he's dancing because he's a happy dragon. But what happened next isn't going to make the children very happy at all. Can we have the dark one again, please? It's quite good, this little combo, isn't it? I like him. Right, so then what happened is the dragon wasn't happy about the sheep and he wasn't happy about the money. Now, this could be a little bit scary, folks. So if you've got small people or slightly bewildered adults, it's only pretend, all right? So then, the dragon wanted to eat a child. He said, I'm not satisfied with these sheep and that gold and that bullion stuff you've given me. I need a child. 
and all, yeah, you might want to run away now. And then all the children were really scared. But what they said was, don't worry, we'll have a lottery. So the king of that town, honestly, the king of the village, he said, we won't just take anyone. We'll have a lottery and each time we'll send a child to the dragon. And the dragon was really happy. You happy again, Theo? Yes. Right. And this was went on for a couple of years, eating the babies, eating the children. No one seemed to mind. Do you mind, children? Yeah, they do look suitably confused. That's all right. That's all right. I like them like that. And, um, and then it was the princess's turn. Princess, come to the front. Hold her up high. It was the princess's turn to go and be eaten by the dragon. And because it was the... Oh, can you do that again, sir? Can you all join in with him? And then it was... The, right, yeah, all scary. Glad you're getting this. And um, But the king said, oh, no, not my daughter. Because obviously, if you're royalty, you just tell other people what to do, not your own thing, right? So then they said, oh, no, that won't happen. But the princess was a girl of honour. And she said, Papa! Papa! Because she was actually a parrot. She said, Papa, I must go. It is my duty. It is my duty. So off she went to go and meet the dragon. Now, this is the bit where we get, sin well, George. Do I have a George in the audience? No. Was that a near? Yeah, you could be George. So then George, stand up, was passing nearby with the bells on his horse. Make your jingle jingle. That's it. Come here, come here. He was passing by and he saw the beautiful princess sat by the lake waiting for the dragon to come and eat her. And he said, oh my, oh my. <laughs> and the dragon said, I'm going to eat all of you. <laughs> Improvising, I like it, I like it. So, young George said, you can't eat that princess. She's too beautiful. I will marry her and make her my wife in the traditional patriarchal society that we had once upon a time before we got liberated and everything changed and we are all one. <laughs> Pardon? The dragon will still eat her. Yeah, no. What we're going to do though is there was a very clever child who was about, how old are you? Who was about three and she stood up, she stood up and in a very big loud voice she said, And in a very big, loud voice, she said, We can be friends. We can be friends! You don't have to eat her or him or anything like that. And clever old George said, Ooh, uh, what might you say, George? It's like a good thing. Jolly good. Jolly good, because he's a good British chap at heart. He said, jolly good. Now, in the traditional telling of this story, once, wait a minute. All right then, yes, here we are, back in the movie of action. Yes, thank you very much. I got a bit carried away there. Went all sort of Radio 4. <laughs> um, yeah, and in the traditional telling of this story, right, what happens is um, George rescues the princess, and because everybody's so happy and excited about it, they become Christians. Now, yeah, exactly, I oh, indeed. Yeah, and I don't think that's the right kind of ending to this story. That kind of indoctrination of religious views, because it's all just like somebody what wrote it in a book and then told everybody else and everybody else had to follow it. it ain't true, no nothing, is it? It's just a story like all the other stories. So what they decided to do was turn that down a little bit. What they decided to do was to play the victory song and you all do a little victory dance where you jump up and down. Can you do that? It's very strong victory. Look, look, look victorious and brave. Oh, oh. I think you need to maraud round the green mat. Dragon, lead the way. Maraud round the green mat. Walk round the green mat. That's it, mind the baby. Mind the baby. It's in the, the round and round. Keep coming, keep coming. More victory. More victory. Oh, hold your things up high. Brave children. Yeah, that's it. Come on, come on, come on, dragon. Yeah, fire. Woo! Yay, that's all very good. 
on to the villagers parade, free and liberated, all free to have their own choice of religion, their own kind of party, their own kind of friends. And so the myth of George and the Dragon, oh, I've lost the Birmingham completely now, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Birmingham acts of gender, it's come back again. It's one of those very slippy things. It's a bit like the, um, on your telly, you know, when the buffer comes on for about 15 minutes and you're wondering what's going on. That's my brain, that is, trying to think, oh, what accent am I in now? Yeah, so then it was all over and the children of the village were able to have new babies. Hold your, hold your baby up for us. Hold it up high. Hold it up high there. Have new babies and new babies were born to the people of the village and everybody cheered! And everybody was happy! And no more did the dragon eat the babies or the children and the villagers were all very happy. And they said, thank you very much to the crazy lady. And they put all their toys back in the basket. In a very civilised, well brought up, very nice kind of children of Red Fest sort of a way. Which is all very lovely. That's your dolly, darling. You keep your dolly. Why do some people do nothing? What, the children sitting on the floor? Why, why didn't I give your character a role? <laughs> Yeah, no, well, I think that's because not everybody has a speaking role. Some people are just sort of part of the chorus. Is that, was you, what are you trying to give me now? Oh, look, I've been given a broken bit of something. I think they really enjoyed the show. All right, all of you children, all turn round. Look at, yes, hello. A puppet shows um, never told me um, at the front. Um, um, um. And when I went first. I can see that being a problem for you, Theo. I can spot you, I can spot Theo's mum, because she's just like, Aah! That was lovely. Plus he walked over to you and gave it all away, didn't he? And some shows you get to have a big role in, some shows you get to have a small role in, some shows you get to dress up like this, and some shows you don't. I mean, that's just how it is, really. If all you lovely children want to turn around and let the grown-ups clap at you, that will be it. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Um, that's, that's sort of my story. I usually do a different kind of show, so I hope you like this show, because this was very unusual for me. I usually am much more... Oh, I'm getting a standing up clap. Oh, that's very nice. You can do a standing up clap as well. If you like. Oh, you can do a hands in the air clap. Oh, that's brilliant. You're doing a jumpy up and down clap. We can make that louder. We can have them little dancey thing, because look at them all wriggly, wriggly, wriggly. Yeah, and then I think we'll just have that music and the lovely compare's going to come back on again. I've been Sarah Slater in one of my many guises, and um, you can find me. YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of thing, you know. So thank you very much indeed. Here's your mic throwback, lovely. <laughs> That was a really good show and well to all the children, can we clap all the children and Sarah again please? <laughs> Everyone was really good, that was a really interesting story and we'll be back in a minute with some more, we've got a bit of puppetry next I think, if I'm right, hopefully which